Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos todos this blessed Tuesday morning, loves. Uh, just did a morning reading, and I'm sharing because it seems that there's doubt uh, around us during these times of confusion uh, that are placed in our lives by mere men in this world, loves. Um, and this scripture came this morning, so I'm going to share it. And may it help someone bring back into memory, into their spirit, into all our spirits, that Lord Jesus came, was sent down from heaven for many reasons. But the majority of the times because of the troubles of this world we tend to forget he conquered the world already loves he did lord jesus that's he just did it he completed it at the cross i know i say that often and if we're not in the word if we are not in the word on a daily basis grab it just reopen it up and, and just read, study it. The Spirit will remember. The Holy Spirit will bring it into our memory when we're going through something throughout our daily uh, walk, loves. Uh, we have to continue to remember our Lord Jesus. Um, he is our example. He is Abba Father's first fruit. He, that is why he's called the Alpha. He's the first, the firstborn son of our God. Um, as always, always loves. We give glory to our God every day. We give it to him in the name of his son, Jesus. Abba Father needs to know, how do you know of me? Abba Father, how do you know of me? And we, we remind him, your son, Yahshua, your, our Lord Jesus sent us to you that we, with confidence, we can come up to the throne, loves. That, that's how, how Abba, we remind Abba Father how we know of him. And that's through his son. All glory to Abba Father in the name of his son, Jesus loves. I'm sharing a short daily verse today. Um. And it is out of the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. And I will read. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he sent the crowd away, says Lord Jesus. After he had sent the crowds away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. That's key, loves. That's key. That we pray. Go into your room and pray to Abba Father alone, Jesus. That's a key, love. After he had sent the crowd away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. And when it was evening, that's how long he prayed, loves, he was there alone. But the boat was already a long distance from the land. Battered by the waves, for the wind was contrary contrary the boats heading this way the winds coming this way and if anyone's ever tried to walk in a windy day it's going to push it it, it will push you but you you keep walking because you want to get to your destination yes do we not do that but the wind's not going to move away but we continue even if the wind is pushing we continue going till we get to our destination by the time we know it the wind something blocks the wind and it's gone and it allows us to walk. This is the same. It's the same thing, loves, when we're going through a tribulation or when this world is throwing something contrary to our lies. 
but we continue. So it states here, battered by the waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them. In one of, I, there's six watches uh, in throughout the day. I don't know them, but I know it's in the Bible. So here in this one, it's the fourth watch. If I can find and study it, I will bring it here. Because it, it is important, loves, these times that are we're being at the time that we're praying, loves, as uh, King David, when he writes Psalms 119, he says at midnight, he loved to go and pray at midnight. It, it might be because it's calmer, everyone's in bed, but there's a reason why even Jesus, it's the third, it's the fourth watch. And again, and in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, it is a ghost. And they cried out in fear because they, they thought it was a spirit because no human walks on water. But again, this is our Lord Jesus. That is why they yelled out, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. Okay. In our times of trouble, loves, in our times of tribulation, in sorrow, in pain, we need to remember Lord Jesus is ahead of us. He prayed to Abba Father. I'm sure he knew already, hey, Abba Father, there's a storm coming. I sent out my brothers out in, into the sea to cross over to the other side where I need them doing their, their duty, their job. But there's a sea that's coming up against us, a flood coming up against them, troubles, tribulations, pain, sorrow, rejection, loves. Lord Jesus is at every watch. He's speaking to Abba, Father, Father, give them courage. They're going through this trouble. Remind them through your spirit, Father, that I am there with them. I will go through this storm with them. So, it's okay whatever this world is showing us during these times of of confusion loves of them placing these this negativity of of discouragement in our lives that they have fulfilled this evil plot that they have up against us the people of Abba Father we need to remember when Lord Jesus is at every watch praying to Abba Father for us. He loves us. So he says, take courage. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him, Lord, if it is you, Lord, if it is you, I, I, I get shocked that Peter said that. Command me to come to you on the water. We know who's in the midst of our troubles. We know, and yes, the pain is strong that we, we forget. We, we forget that, that Lord Jesus is there. We need to cry out to him. So Peter goes, then call me out. Call me out into this storm. That's key, loves. And so, and he said, come. And Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came toward Jesus. Peter walked on water because he saw Lord Jesus. He, he forgot that the storm was there. He forgot that the storm wa was around him. Loves. He forgot that the waves were pounding up against the boat. All he focused was on Lord Jesus. So his focus was on Jesus. He was excited. That's, that's my beloved master, my beloved Lord. I'm going towards him. So, 
as Peter walked on the water towards Jesus and Jesus had his hand and his eyes was focused on Peter. Peter's eyes was focused on Lord Jesus. The faith was there because he could see him. But I continue, but seeing the wind, seeing the wind, he became frightened and began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. What he did is he turned to the left and he turned to the right, loves. He took his eyes off of Jesus. We do that in times of troubles. We need not to. We need to take this courage that Lord Jesus says, do not be afraid. Take courage. For I am with you always. It states in Matthew, the last chapter of Matthew 28, I am with you till the end of the age. He's with us, loves. It's okay what's, what these evil, wicked men are placing these burdens upon our lives. It's okay. It is okay. Lord Jesus has this. Take courage. I am with you. He's with us. So by seeing the wind, he became frightened. Peter did. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, immediately, loves like this, immediately. When we cry out to our Lord Jesus, Jesus stretched out his hand and took hold of him and said to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Doubt is such an immense word. And doubt is of the devil. Doubt is of the devil. Satan loves that word doubt. The minute doubt comes into our minds. And yes, loves, it attacks me. But I, I go to the word. I have to go to the word to remember. Abba Father keeps his promises. If Abba Father has already shown in my life what is kept in faith, the promises that Abba Father keeps through his son, I, I re remind my spirit. So doubt leaves me. And with confidence, I stand and I face the storm. I face the winds, loves. Because I remind my spirit, the Holy Spirit will teach me through the spoken written word. This is the only way, loves. Stay surrounded by the loves and people that have the faith through the spoken written word, loves. Because if we listen to what this world is telling us, we'll forget. It'll place this doubt in our minds. So Lord Jesus states, you of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat and the wind stopped, and those who were in the boat worshipped him saying, they worshipped Jesus saying, you are certainly the son of God. They remembered, yes, that's who Lord Jesus is. He is the Son of God. So Lord Jesus reminds us, I am in the midst of you where two or three gather in my name. There I am in the midst of you. What you ask in my name, I go to my Father. Loves, take courage. Let's have this faith in our Lord Jesus that he is the son of the true living God, loves. Take courage, do not be afraid, so, for I am with you. Take heed, loves, to the one that needs to hear this word. Take heed, Lord Jesus has, has us in this storm. He will not leave us, loves. Let's shake this doubt off of us, of what this world, this world is the one placing this down. Satan uses these people that place these burdens in our lives, but we stand and we continue to live. This is why Lord Jesus says, do not worry. These things must pass. He wants us to live, but stay in the word. And we continue this journey that he has placed in our lives through his God, through our Abba Father, through his Abba Father loves. 
I hope this helps. Again, there's comments. That is reason why there's a comment section loves. Ask the questions. Do not worry. Do not worry. Lord Jesus says, I've got this. I am with you. I am with you. Do not be afraid. Take courage. Let's, let's shake the doubt out of our lives, loves, and let's place Jesus in our lives and continue into the journey because the Holy Spirit is great in us if we allow the Holy Spirit to dwell within us, loves. It is our choice. It is Abba, Father, in us, or the doubt that this world places on us. It's our choice, loves. Let's choose the Holy Spirit of our God through His only begotten Son, Yeshua. Lord Jesus loves again all glory to Abba, Father, in the name of His Son, Jesus loves. I share the spoken written word of our God. Blessings, everyone.